fast as the roosters that I saw in Key West. That's the plan. You're gonna run as fast as the rooster you saw in Key West? Yes. Let's see. Hold on, let's get your hat. I want to show you my chicken shirt, but I think I need to put on sleeves. It's chilly. Yeah, it is pretty chilly outside. We'll wear the chicken shirt for lifting later. <laughs> oh, here's, here's something, is I really try my hardest to like give, on all my videos, give myself a rough outline and then just spit the rest of it because it comes out way funnier when you don't like organize it and plan it. Mm -hmm. Yes, there, there is a need for like some editing after that because there are some like blank moments where my brain just like doesn't do anything. Wild brain, but for real. this is why you guys get intros and outros of just like rambling on of random things. But I do really put the effort in. It's weird because it's like, I put some effort in, but then I'm like, wait, don't put too much time and effort into it because it's way better when you just spitball most of it. So Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time. There have been some videos I'm just like, just completely scrap that. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, but not, not as many as you think. It's true. And then, yeah, I do have to like condense it down after a while because I'll go back and I'll record like a 15 minute video and I'm like, no one's going to watch that. So we got to like chop it down to the important things and not the squirrel moments. <laughs> so welcome to vlog number 12. No, you're editing 12, I think. This is 13. Oh yeah, no. Welcome to vlog 13. Yeah. I think, lucky number 13. Engine again, you guys get to see more of that building the engine up, bike running to start. Then today is gonna be a little bit different because we're Coming back from a little bit of traveling from Key West, where all the chickens are. So lifting will look a little bit different today. I think we're gonna do get our snatches in that we missed yesterday and hit a Metcon later that might have some dumbbell bench in it. So we're kind of like knocking out some things that we missed yesterday, but got some good rest over the weekend. Ready to get back to it though. I'm always itching to get back to it after we have some, some longer breaks, you know? Back a little bit, back a little bit. There's Spunk. <laughs> Doing good? We can take this back. Okay. Gerard should, should document this. What does that mean? Because it comes Oh, I'm scared. But you should keep the camera on. Just... Come on, let's go. Here we go, bud. It's your song. Oh! Look at Plant by the I'm Bathroom. I'm to water him. Look at Plant by the Bathroom. We're gonna... That dude's a survivor. It's like, he doesn't have any soil. There's like no soil in there. See how dead it is? I totally, I was, I saw it this morning and I was like, oh, I need to water back. You guys are gonna witness 
nature. <laughs> Plants and water. This plant is famous. His name is Plant by the Bathroom. Yeah. He's known around here. We were going to repot him, but I'm honestly scared to. No, I'm, scared he to. Won't, I'm scared he won't like a new pot. He's been thriving in that. He's some new fresh soil here. What are you videoing? Open the fridge. <laughs> the egg collection? Look at all the eggs. And then you got that one. Oh it's just, I'm so routined. I go to the store, take the same path, get the same things. And I'd rather have too much of something. Like, I realize I'm stocked up on oatmeal too. Jeez. Because for a while I was out of oatmeal because they weren't they selling the chocolate. The chocolate and window. I've just been like buying all of Quarter. them. Quarter. <laughs> <laughs> the reason all. why there's no oatmeal. Mm -mm. There's no oatmeal on the shelves because of you. <laughs> Someone that does the same exact thing that sometimes beats me to the store. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> you do. How are you pointing at me? There's someone because sometimes there's a ton of chocolate there. There's either a ton or none. I've hit the jackpot recently. We are all stocked up on chocolate oatmeal. Rice cakes. Rice cakes. I want chocolate on these. So they shirt off though. Gerard has already noticed that whenever I come back from some place, I'm just like a fan of it. He was like, didn't that same thing happen with the sea turtles in Padre? I was like, I'm turtles. such a big sea turtle fan. <laughs> and come back from Key West. I love the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I've been exposed. I love everything animals, though. Like seriously, the chickens were really cool. And the iguanas were really, really cool. Everything is twofold. Was joy is pain on the other hand. And what happens when the one that you love is the main cause of your suffering?
and the kids left holding nothing. Now they're thinking about this option. You know, they're like, hey, I'm gonna go play junior college. And there's a little bit of a stigma, you know. So every day I'm motivating them to work hard to be somewhere else. Like, you don't want to be here. Wait, wait, hold oh, me get a pie. Wait, yeah, me get a pie in my face? You get a pie in your face, because there's so many students that want to pie you. So, and 200 Who want to pie me? Who wouldn't? I would want to pie you. I don't know, that's too cute. I want five, I want five. That would be a much better fundraiser than, like, some just, like, traditional fundraising that, that we've done in the past. I just, t I mean, t-shirts are good media thing, outlets but, that alert but anybody I feel like a lot of people would go for something like that. People would pay a lot of money to pie you. Man, this don't make no sense. You need to get some people in the stands. Figure out something. Just kidding. I just need to play in there whenever I could. For free. <laughs> People assume you're top team in the country. You have that would be funny, that. though. No, it's the same. That rim hot? Yeah, it is. It's just make sure it's like a right chocolate pie. I mean, look how hot it is. Chocolate pie would be pie nice. some on the face, it's just got to be a whipped cream pie. Yeah. Chocolate, like... No, I don't waste a good pie. No. That's true. <laughs> just some whipped cream. <laughs> I'm not the biggest pie person, to be honest. What? I, mean, I would have never I'll, guessed the way you smashed it. that Emporium pie. Well, that was just... <laughs> <laughs> that was like true dessert pie. Was, the bottom was like a delicious bro, brownie. Dog, that was you funny. killed that pie. And I was and like, you guys took like two bites of yours, and I'm just like, <sighs> there was nothing to drink with it. They had water to drink. I had drink. coffee. Oh, you did have coffee. That's true. I don't know if that helped. You still tripping on that? that what you have? Shrimp? Jump? You didn't have jambalaya. What you have? For what? Trifecta? Shrimp and grits. No. Oh. Yeah, that was that looked that, that was looked good. so good. I'm always down for some shrimp and grits. Those were like jumbo shrimp. Um, uh, I always go for shrimp and grits. I like seafood. And we had some good seafood uh in Key West at the wedding, but when we went to Padre, there was some good seafood there. Mm. Some I had a whole like sampler plate crab and I don't remember what fish they had on there but I have fish and then oh do you remember the hush puppies yeah he went nuts over the hush puppies I, bet. I love me some hush puppies used to get those all the time and make them all the time in Louisiana with some crawfish boils crawfish boils oh we need a good crawfish boil yeah until like April, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It'll be here before you know it. The problem is, is like our one... Reggae fest straight to crawfish. Or crawfish, <laughs> then reggae fest. I think there are some places that try to do like a crawfish boil and festival around here. But we had one spot. A little hole in the wall place where the owners were from Louisiana. But it closed down. That had They had good crawfish. If I don't eat my peanut butter today, it's been two weeks without peanut butter. If I do one more week, then I've broken the habit. So I think I Why? should just go for it. Why? Three weeks breaks? What like is 20 that? days to make a habit or break a habit. No, he started this himself. Like, no one told him to not eat peanut butter. <laughs> Maybe someone should have. I needed an, I needed an inter intervention. That's why I intervened on myself. Well, like my... I buy him his apples that the peanut butter usually goes on, and now there's like a surplus of apples in there. <laughs> it's like the eggs. <laughs>
in my jeans, I'm better than I'm in. I know my flow's too sick, I got the medicine. I'm way at the top, who can take my place? I went too hard, can't feel my face. Whoa. I'm the best in this thing, tell them, yeah, that's me. Tell them, who bring the fire, say, yeah, that's me. Who make it flip, make it bang, ooh, yeah, that's me. Who make the party feel alive, tell them, yeah, that's me. Whoa. Yeah, ooh, yeah, that's me. Who that chillin' at the top, tell them, yeah, that's me. Push, 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 push. I couldn't get my air back in on that ass. with this morning's engine on the bike? Yeah, um, the only thing that got to me this morning was the cold air. It's yeah. going to take a few times of running in the cold to get back used to it again. But I like it. I like the extra little challenge. It comes, it's that way with the heat. It's like you get used to the heat, sweat it out in the summer, got to get used to the cold, work on some breathing. And you know what the thing that bothers me sometimes in the cold? My feet go numb. If it's really cold, my toes get a little frosty, frozen. But I'm ready for it. It's good. Are you ready for it to hold the camera? Hold I'm the camera ready to freeze my, yeah, freeze my butt off out here with you. Yeah, for sure. You have to do yeah. run the engine with us. We do. I'm going to have to run, yeah, for real, to stay warm. You do some <laughs> laps with us. Every now and then run a lap with the camera. Yeah. I was thinking about you when it got cold. I was like, oh man, that's going to be hard to hold in the camera when it's cold. Yeah. No, it was a good day. Another day in the books. Coming back from vacation is always, you know, pretty challenging. But at least it wasn't that long. I, I'm always dramatic when I come back. If I take like two days off, I'm like, no, I lost it all. <laughs> but no, we're good. Good uh, day getting back into it. Uh, I'm ready to just keep working grinding right now. Nothing fancy about it, but just having a lot of fun with it. Until the next vlog.